July 14th in the year of our Lord, 2015. How are you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome. Hey, it's two for Tuesday. You know what that means? Two beers, two da- songs, two trivia questions, two babies of the day, two hunks of the day, two vehicles of the day, two instruments of the day, two pets of the day, and a whole lot of fun. It takes two, baby. Yeah, it does. That's right. Me and you. Oh, I did it wrong. Me and you. Whatever. Hey, if I, if I was perfect, I'd be playing third base for the Boston Red Sox. Today's beer consumption apparatus for you. Today's unofficial sponsor of our show, my dear friend, the lovely, gorgeous, amazing Felicia Nielsen of Nielsen's Portraits. Nielsen Portraits. She's an amazing photographer. In fact, yesterday she let me know she just became officially an intermediate photographer. She takes pictures of children, single, individual, and birthday portraits. You got her contact information below. If you ain't following this page yet, you really need to. Right down here in Abilene, Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma, pretty much the same name as it. Nielsen's Portraits. She's got 256 likes. We got to get her up to 300. Come on, folks. She does some really, really great quality work, okay? So there you go. Just some of the stuff she does. These are newer pictures, baby pictures, a definite specialty. She's a, she's a young, happily married mommy and an absolute sweetheart. A former real baby of the day on Baron's Song of the Day, Felicia Nielsen. It's funny, I got a lot of friends of mine that are photographers and they're all absolutely gorgeous or handsome. They are. Well, I think all men are ugly, disgusting, and repulsive, but that's my opinion, you know? But, with that said, that's our unofficial sponsor of today's show, Felicia Nielsen. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. I'm going to give you the look at the salute. Oh, hell yeah! So there you go. Now, today's beer today, as we pour it into the... Today's beer today, boys, girls, and it's... Blue Moon White IPA. This stuff is a fantastic IPA. I'm not a big IPA guy, but I like this beer a lot. 5.9% of absolute awesomeness. Above average of strength. It's out of Golden, Colorado. Crisp, refreshing white IPA crafted with four varieties of hops, wheat, coriander, and a hint of orange peel. No kidding, huh? Yeah, baby. Hey, and on a hot day like today, where it got up to like 96 freaking degrees, we need something a little thinner for now. Probably opening up brass pop technique. Here we go. And of course, there's always a 45 degree angle right in the big assumption apparatus right over the keyboard because I'm sad damn we're going to have a spill drop yet. Never have, never will. Got the All Star game on. It hadn't started yet. This is the only. The, the baseball All Star game is the only day of every year. The only day where I will actually root for the New York Yankees players. You know why? Because I'm a Red Sox fan. And we're representing the all the American League in the All Star Game, and if the American League wins, then the American League gets home field advantage in the World Series. So yeah, gotta root for the American League if you're an American League fan like I am. Cheers and beers, all you pros to say Germany compares to say in Japan. Mm. After a hard day at work, motivating the masses, having a lot of fun. It's always great to have a good quality adult beverage on Beer and Song of the Day. So if you're a legal drinking age and you're not driving, share with me right here, right now. Let's drink together, shall we? Cheers and beers, my friends. All right. Tons of birthday shout-outs for today, folks. Tons of them. No kidding. Uh, right off the bat, my good friend Jeff Kirkpatrick. Kirk A. Jeff Kirkpatrick. Badass Gap God GNC Posse member. For life. That I worked with in good old California, the land of fruits and nuts, otherwise I know Southern Oregon. Jeff celebrated a milestone birthday, a great man, and I don't I know you're not even on the old Facebook. Dude, I'd love to hear from you. I haven't heard from you since the Truman administration. It's been like forever. Miss working with you on the job site, miss the hell out of you. Always miss chatting with you. I hope you and your wonderful, gorgeous, exquisite, wicked awesome, better half Nancy are doing well. A great man, a great family man, she's a great lady. And uh, the Kirkpatrick family, I'm sure Nancy's spoiling you rotten, Jeff, because you deserve it, brother. Happy milestone birthday to you. Hope you have a good, awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Next on the list, lots of Mafia Wars friends today having birthdays. 
I love Mafia Wars. Great way to get rid of some pent up frustration. You know, have a hard day at work. Say, you know what? I'm going to get on the old Mafia Wars and ice some fools. That's what we do. And that's what my good friend Chip Brown does. And Chip, what's up, brother? How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Happy birthday to you. And I uh, hope you're celebrating it well. Hope you're going to get on the old Mafia Wars later. Crush some skulls. Now, that's what we do. We have a lot of fun. But nobody gets hurt for real. It's a game. Hell yeah, yeah. Chip, happy birthday, my friend. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. And cheers on beers. Next on the list, my good friend Pember, Pemburu uh, Pailong M.W. Pailong, P-A-I-L-A-N-G. Pemburu out of Malaysia. Now, Pemburu is a wonderful Mafia Wars player, a more recent addition to the crew. And did you know you were born the exact same month and years, my good friend Jeff Kirkpatrick? Yep, you're also celebrating a milestone birthday and happy birthday to you. And how are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. I know it's already July 15th in Malaysia. Hell, by the time this show gets aired, it's going to be July 16th, my father's birthday. But you're so far ahead in time. But you know what? I hope you're celebrating it well, and I hope you have a wicked awesome day, and celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Next on the list, my good friend Suki O. S-O-O-K-I-E and then O-H. Suki O, a very long time uh, friend on the old Mafia Wars. I mean, we've been friends on Mafia Wars for like five years. Suki O, always helping each other out. That's what we do. You know why? Because teamwork makes the dream work. We help each other's families out on the old Mafia Wars. We get stronger so that we can crush the opposition. It's a lot of fun, but nobody gets hurt for real. Maybe some bruised egos. That's all. Suki O, happy birthday, my friend. Hope you all have an awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. And cheers and beers. Next on the list, my dear friend Rose Allen, an absolutely gorgeous sweetheart of a lady and a Texas Hold'em legend that I know from jolly old England, a very dear friend of mine, and living in the Philippines. She's originally from the Philippines. Rose, I miss the hell out of you. And how are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Haven't heard from you in a <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, burn the nose hairs on that one. I haven't heard from you in a while. Drop me a line. Let me know how you're doing, will you? Got some updates for you. I'll talk to you, talk to you about those later. Okay? Rose, we miss you. We love you big time. And uh, you're the one who hooked Farrah up with some wonderful recipes. And I know she hooked you up well. Hey, I hope you're still utilizing Farrah's recipes. Because she's still utilizing yours. My Mexican love goddess can make some incredible Filipino food. Yeah, she can. And so can you. And Rose, I miss you. Happy birthday, my dear. Hope you all have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Hell yeah! Next on the list, I just heard from this lovely lady just a short time ago. My good friend, Ada Falk. F-A-U-L-K. You know, like Marshall Falk, Kevin Falk, you know. Ada, A-D-A. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It is Ada, right? Um, Ada, a wonderful mafia at on the old Mafia Wars. Yeah, we have a lot of fun on there. We're always helping each other out. And I'll tell you what, Ada, I've been having problems, internet issues lately. I think they're fixed. Now I gotta work on getting my stuff set back up on the old Mafia Wars because I want to get back on there. I want to crush skulls. I want to have a lot of fun. I want to help you out. We help each other out. It's a it's a great time. And Ada, happy birthday, my friend. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Good beer going down. Mm -hmm. Next on the list, my man Kevin Bradley, another fellow Mafia Wars player. Hey, Mafioso, you know? That's right. And Kevin, what's going on, my brother from another mother? How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoy the show. Drop me a line. Let me know how life's treating you, man. Will ya? Hell yeah. Just like Nike. Just do it. Let's make it happen. Kevin, happy birthday, my friend. I hope you have a wicked awesome day and celebrate well and enjoy. All right, cheers and bears. Next on the list, longtime mafia at on the old mafia was my good friend Pam Simpler. Pamela Simpler. Yeah, great last name. I love it. And uh, she's also a great mafia at on the old mafia was longtime mafia was player. Big help. That's right. And Pam, happy birthday to you, my friend. I haven't heard from you in a while. What's going on? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Drop me a line. Hope you're getting spoiled rotten, as you should be. Hey, it's your birthday, so you deserve to be spoiled. I get spoiled every day. It doesn't have to be my birthday to get spoiled. Yeah, hey, that's because I'm married to royalty. It is absolutely wicked awesome. Yeah, it is. But Pam, you're wicked awesome too. And happy birthday and cheers and bears.
Next on the list, my good friend Gary McNutt. Gary McNutt. Gary is a badass bike chase, the son of a gun I worked with down here in Yeehaw, Texas, all the way knows West Louisiana, pretty much the same damn state. Gary, haven't heard from you in a little while. Not since you moved, man. What's going on? How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. I definitely miss working with you on the job site. We had a lot of fun motivating the masses, working hard, getting things done. Joe Pesci style, right? Yeah, man! <laughs> well, Gary, miss you big time. Happy birthday. Hope you all have an awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. And brother, cheers and beers. Next on the list, my man Mikey Waters. Oh, this guy is like me. We get older and bolder, but we're still big kids. Yeah, we are, Mikey. We enjoy life, don't we? In fact, Mike, Mikey Waters, I know through my father. Good Hill Construction, Martha's Vineyard Island, town of Oak Plus, Massachusetts. Mikey, I've known for a long damn time, over 30 years. And Mikey, happy birthday to you, my brother from one other mother. How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, you are. Always posting up some good stuff, especially bad parking on Martha's Vineyard. And with the summer dinks out there, oh, good God. I'm telling you, I swear people... I swear people drive by Braille and they have two glass eyes when they're driving. It's awful. These summer dinks that don't know how to drive coming to Massachusetts, ruining our way of life. You know, I mean, it's nice to have their money. Don't get me wrong, you know. And, uh, but good Lord. You, ugh. Take the public transportation, people. If you can't drive, just take the boat over to Martha's Vineyard. Rent a bicycle or something. Don't rent a moped. We hate that shit. Don't we, Mikey? Yeah, we do. Especially when you're driving a cement mixer. Cement mixer going up island. That shit sucks, doesn't it? I know it does. Well, Mikey, happy birthday, my friend. Hope you all have an awesome day. Celebrate while and enjoy. And brother, cheers and beers. Next on the list. Now, I know this great man through a mutual friend, my dear friend, Renee Phillips. An amazing lady that I know down here in Yeehaw, Texas. Otherwise known as Northern Mexico, pretty much the same damn country. She's originally from Tennessee, or as I like to call it, Southern Kentucky. Funny, because she's got family up in Kentucky. Like this man, her uncle, Jimmy Dale Evans Sr. Jimmy Dale Evans Sr., 74 years old today. And sadly, unfortunately, um, it's quite likely he may no, not be with us much longer. He'll probably be moving on to a uh, better place. Renee, I'm sure of that. He's a great man. That's where you get your awesomeness from. Obviously, your family is amazing. Great Christian family. And, uh, <clears throat> squeeze me. I got more room to drink more beer now. And, of course, great values. Great family values. So, uh, Renee, I want you to know that your birthday boy uncle, Jimmy Dale Evans Sr., I'm with him. My prayers, are, my thoughts and prayers are with him in hopes that either he is, you know, soon through his pain and misery and moves on to a better life in a better place where that he is able to recover and come back to us 100%. So, you know, but Jimmy Dale Evans Sr., to you, cheers and beers, my friend, and uh, a good life. Definitely a good, I wish it could be longer. But uh, you know what? Right around the normal life expectancy, 74 years old today. Awesome stuff. So there you go. I was reading about Jimmy Dale Evans Sr. because I have never met him in person. Never talked to him, but I'll tell you, he seems like a great, great man. So to you, cheers and beers. And God bless you. All right. Next on the list, my good friend Dale Abbott. Now, Dale Abbott is a, um online radio DJ, and he listens to the same stuff I listen to. A lot of old school 50s doo-wop music. Oh, we love the old stuff, don't we? The oldies. Yeah. And we love the vocal group harmony. Lots of great stuff like that. Dale, I always love chatting with you. And happy birthday to you, my friend. How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. The pride of Rhode Island, the biggest little state in the union. A great state indeed. And uh, all the way from Rhode Island and a fellow New Englander like me. He is a Yankees fan. But Dale, you've been a Yankees fan forever. And brother, I can respect that. Because I will hang out with a true, legit, no bull New York Yan Yankees fan over a fair weather Red Sox fan any day of the week. I'm twice on Sunday. And that's the God's honest truth. Dale, you're a great man. And happy birthday, my friend. Hope you all have an awesome day. Celebrate while and enjoy. Cheer the beer. Yep, I've already got happy, happy birthday baby by the Toon Weavers. From 19, late 1956, early 1957 in my head. Hey, yeah, they were originally from Massachusetts. How about that? Very cool. Great female doo-wop group. Great song. All right, next on the list, my good friend Lucas Kendall. 
Lucas Kendall. I've known this guy over 30 years. Little League, I remember him from. Elementary school, high school. Lucas Kendall. Fine Arts Stadium graduate of Martha's Vineyard Beach High School class of 1992. With my brother. And Lucas, what's going on, brother? How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Looks like um, life is treating you phenomenal, as it should. You're a great man, a smart man, a walking brain of a man. And Lucas, happy birthday, brother. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Drop me a line sometime. I haven't heard me in a while. Don't be a stranger. Okay? Cheers and beers. Next on the list, my man Dave Sawyer. Dave Sawyer. Another one I haven't heard from in a while. This guy does um, comedy improv all, all over the place. Dave, I was reading about you. I hadn't heard from you in a while. And dude, you are getting things done making millions of people laugh. That is absolutely méchant génial. That's French for wicked awesome. You know what I'm saying, eh? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Canada, and you gotta get so long to our neighbors up north, and I do the Aunt Baron song today every single day of the week. Big and A. Fact, speaking of Canada, Dave Sawyer was actually living, living in uh, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. How about that? That's really cool. Great, great province. Even though they do have the Montreal Canadians, I love them like they love getting kicked in the balls with a steel toe boot. God, I'm a Bruins fan. Of course I have to hate the Montreal Canadiens, eh? But anyway, Dave, brother, you knew I wouldn't forget your birthday. I've had it memorized since the day I met you over 25 years ago. Dave, final senior graduate of Monster Virginia Beach High School class of 1990. Bow! And brother, happy birthday. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Er, cheers and bears. And the final birthday today goes to my good friend Randy Summerer. Randy Summerer, I actually met through um, online sports forums, you know, even the Buffalo Bills forum. Yes, I was an actual admin as a Patriots fan in a Buffalo Bills forum. No kidding. And Randy, you remember this. Why? Because you know you love, you hate my New England Patriots. You do. And that's okay. I understand. You're a Bills fan. A true, legit, no bull Buffalo Bills fan. And I like the Bills. We both equally hate the Jets. And hey, like you, I say squish the fish as well. Randy, you're a damn good man. And happy birthday, brother. And as you know, I was an admin on there because, see, I'm a classy Patriots fan. And you know that. You got to be classy. Regardless of who you root for, folks, be a class. Don't be an ass. And Randy, you ain't no ass. You're 100% badass, grade A, class and kick ass. Randy Summerer, happy birthday, my friend. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. And brother, cheers and beers. Your bills are going to be good this year. I'm predicting a playoff. Um, I'm predicting playoffs for them. And I think the city of Buffalo deserves it. Yeah, they do. All right. So with that said, we had ourselves a wedding anniversary yesterday. I had no idea until after I recorded yesterday's show. Now, my dear friends, Mike and Candy McDowell got married July 13th in the year of our Lord, 1996. But I found out that my good friend, Chris Fulton, and his wonderful, gorgeous, exquisite, wicked, awesome, better half, Lenora. Chris and Lenora Fulton, they got married July 13th, 1996 as well. Wow. Holy freaking ball sacks. That is incredible. Chris and Lenora Fulton. 19 years of exquisite, wicked, awesome marriages of yesterday. Looks like you guys had a phenomenal day. Chris, of course, a great leader of men, women, and this that I work with down here. Yeah, Texas. Although I know he's Eastern New Mexico. That's right. And, uh, yup. <coughs> squeeze me. Chris and Lenore, happy anniversary to the two of you. And just think, big milestone next year, 20. Yeah. So keep that love strong. Take it from the love doctor. Happy wife makes for a happy life. And Chris, you know that. But hey, to the two of you, I give you a big hearty cheers of uh, beers and congratulations. And have another wicked awesome day. Celebrate every day like it's your wedding day. I know I do. I, uh, empty as the brain cells of an average Los Angeles Lakers fan. Don't worry, I got a cure for that. Because I bring reinforcements. I'm feeling the need for something dark. Deep, dark, and delicious. So let's bring out Deep Ellen Brewing Company out of Dallas, Texas. Oak Cliff Coffee Ale. Hot damn. Oh, not your average Joe. No, it's not, folks. This stuff is a whopping 7.5% of exquisite wicked awesomeness. 
And yeah, baby, I need it. So let's bust it open. Probably opening up brass, just the fingers. Proper technique. Uh-oh. Wifey just messaged me. She's probably telling me to start cooking dinner. Well, my love goddess fair. I'm recording beer and song in a day. I'll hit you up later. I love you. 45 grand right in the big something up brass. Right for the keyboard, something that thing. Good. Have a spin drop yet. Never have, never will. Uh-oh. Maybe my wife got home early. Don't think so. Of course, she does text while driving. Oh, dear. Mm -mm. I didn't spill it. I, I, I saved that shit, folks. You know, I am a professional beer connoisseur, folks. And, uh, you, uh oh, I see Princess Delilah. What's going on, little baby daughters? Not much. How are you? Good. You sure? Yep. Positive? Yep. Guaranteed. What you got for us? Well, first, your screen is... Dirty. I know. Um, it makes my glasses look clean. Um. Oh, that's amazing. Keep your glasses clean so you can see, right? Yeah, but I lost my glasses cleaner. Uh-oh. Well, you better find them. I know. So what do you got for us today, Princess Delilah? Another tarot card. It's been a while. Yeah, it has. So, which one you got? Oh, you're picking one. Okay. Um... Delilah's got her tarot card for today. The Empress. The Empress. Oh. So there you go. Delilah made these all herself. Princess Delilah. She's very artistic. I'm more autistic than artistic, as we all know. And, and the quote is? May your rage bring you power. May your rage bring you power. So what's that mean? Basically, if you're angry, you want power? Pretty much. What, so you beat the crap out of the individual even harder? Yeah. <laughs> so demonic. I know. Wow. And you're such a sweet, cute little angelic princess with some vileness in you. Yeah. Yeah. You fruitcake. Mm. What do you expect? She's my daughter. What do you want? Something exactly. normal? What the hell's normal anyway, right? <laughs> exactly. There, well, there you go. Delilah, I love you. Love you too. And uh, who's your favorite baseball team? Red Sox. Football team? Patriots. Uh, basketball team? Celtics. Hockey team? Bruins. What do you think of the New York Yankees? How about those New York Eli Mannings? Yeah. Lakers? Hang on, wait. Um. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. The one that poops all over the place. They smell like this. Uh, oh. <laughs> the Lakers smell like that. They smell like poop, huh? Yeah. And how about the Montreal Canadiens, eh? You heard him. That's Patches. <laughs> he shits all over he, the floor. He, he rolled his eyes. And he only yeah. eats his poop when it's outside. When he rolled his eyes, I was like, that's my reaction. Ah, uh, exactly. Crazy dog, so lovable, but such He doesn't a... smell very pleasant, does he? <sighs> <laughs> Smells like sweat from a baboon's balls. So I hear. <laughs> oh, good God. Why? Cheers and beers, all you pros that say in Germany, Kabayas, and say in Japan. Ow, patches. Oh. Mouthgasm. Folks, that is a big, solid A. On the Love Doctor's beer, beer scale of exquisite wicked awesomeness. See, that one's a that one's a B. B plus, actually. A very good beer. But no, 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 no. This stuff's a big solid A all the way, baby. That's right. I love this stuff. It's a fantastic beer. All right. We've gone through the birthdays. Whew. We've gone through this um, anniversary shout-out. We've got some additional shout-outs to give. But before I do that, let's bring out today's trivia questions. Which two supporting characters drove the episode of Star Trek Deep Space Nine entitled, It's Only a Paper Moon? Nobody gave it a shot. Kind of disappointed. I even removed the uh, Google rule for that. You know, where you're not supposed to look it up on Google. I, I removed the rule so you could do that. Well, it was Nog and Vic Fontaine. And now you know. See, a little smile. You learn something new every day on Beer and Song Day. Otherwise, it's the day wasted. Um, our other trivia question in the deep in the Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode, the Siege of AR five fifty eight. What traumatic event occurred in Nod's life, folks? This is traumatic. He lost his leg. Well, you know, hey, if I lost my leg, I'd be looking for it. Just saying. Ha! But yeah, so now my wife wants to freaking text me. I hate texting. I do. I hate texting. You know. Might as just call and talk on the phone. Oh, dear God. Since I was a trooper and went to see Inside Out, we'll go see Ted, too. Yay! The Love Doctor wins over the Love Goddess. This shit never happens. 
All right. So bear with me as I try to text. I text like I got feet for hands, folks, okay? I do. I ain't kidding. You know, I just get on get on Facebook and uh, put it on the computer so I can type. I can type a lot faster than I can text. Oh, I hate texting. Ugh. All right, some additional shout-outs real quick. Got to give some love to some great friends that I just met today. And then another lovely lady that I've known just recently. Of course, you got to give it up to my good friend, Ashley Shank. That's S-H-E-N-K. A wonderful, hard-working young lady down here. Yeah, Texas was only 40% of the size of Alaska. Yeah, Texas. It's a real cute state. Ashley, great meeting you. Great meeting John uh, Schistler. Schistler. S-H-I-S-L-E-R. John Schistler. Hey, John, don't forget to like the Beer and Song of the Day Facebook page. Ashley already did. Ashley, thank you for your support. Hey, you support like a double D bra. Underwear. That support. I'll take my wife's word on that. Okay, I don't wear bras. Thank God. Oh. But yeah, Ashley, John, great having you as friends. You know, I always tell people this. The job that you're in is only temporary. However, the friendships gained and the knowledge learned are permanent. Okay? You two are friends for life. Awesome stuff. And to my good friend Lauren Booher, Lauren Booher, B-O-O-H-E-R. I'm not going to boo her. I'm going to cheers her. Yay, Lauren! You're wicked awesome! Hell yeah! But anyway, Lauren, a wonderful, hardworking young lady that I work with down here in Yeehaw, Texas, which, hey, could legally become their own damn state if they so choose. They still have that stipulation. Lauren, great seeing you today. Great hanging out with you. Awesome stuff. Where do they grow people like you? I need to go there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeehaw! Texas. So, hey, uh, Ashley, John, Lauren, great hanging out with the three of you. Oh, hell yeah! And a big hearty cheers and beers to you. <coughs> Squeeze me. Tons of shout outs for today. I cannot believe this. I'm already at the 27 and a half minute mark. Folks, it's time to bring out our uh, vehicles of the day on Baron Song Day. Remember, it's two for Tuesday. We got two vehicles, two instruments, two of everything. So, our first vehicle of the day. I felt like featuring station wagons. All right. Yep. Remember when station wagons were really big, badass um, Griswold family trucksters? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, this is a 1969 Mercury Colony Park station wagon. Look at that thing, will you? That's a nine-passenger station wagon. Good Lord. The old bent seats. It's like a Brady Bunch mobile, you know? Three, three in the front, three in the middle, three in the back. Nine-passenger station wagon. 1969 Mercury with the hideaway headlights. Man, what a mighty fine automobile. And that's a sleeper car. Big-ass engine under the hood. That is a great station wagon. You don't see a lot of good station wagons out there nowadays. Here's another good one. Not as popular, but still pretty badass. In fact, the Dodge Monaco was a very popular police car. But you don't see a lot of Dodge Monaco station wagons. Well, this 1971 Dodge Monaco station wagon... I would love to have that. I'd love to have the 1969 Mercury Colony Park station wagon as well. I'd love to have an old station wagon. They don't make them like they used to. Look at that thing. 1971 Dodge Monaco station wagon. The Dependables built by Dodge. That was an old radio commercial back in the 60s. Great, great car right there. And that thing's a mover. It's a sleeper. So, yeah, there you go. You got to love that fake wood, right? Hey, fake wood. Hey, it's almost like having a fake penis. Oh, yeah, I went there. Screw it. Cheers and beers. Hey, let's bring out today's instrument of the day. Or I should say instruments of the day. Because, see, folks, today's focus is on some unique music. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring out Nick LaRocca's cornet. Cornet was very popular in the 20s. And even very early 30s, the cornet was popular before the trumpet. Um, Nick LaRocca, phenomenal cornet player, later phenomenal trumpet player, an absolute legend with the um, original Dixieland Jazz Band who started recording in 1917. Folks, probably the earliest jazz band in recorded music history. Nick LaRocca, an absolute legend. Nick LaRocca's cornet, 
one of your instruments of the day on Bear and Song of the Day. Hell yeah. And then Red Saunders. Now, Red Saunders did the original. There's, there's a song called Hambone out there. You've heard the term Hambone. Hambone, Hambone. Yeah. Well, Red Saunders did the original version of, the, of Hambone in 1952. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it. He did. And uh, Red Saunders was a drummer. So why not feature Red Saunders' drum set? Why? Because, man, he could make some great music on that. Yeah, he could. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell to the effing yeah, baby. Red Saunders, drum set, your other instrument of the day on Baron Song Day, feeding and a let's drink. Yes, baby daughters. Um, where, um, where are the mini pizzas? I know how to make them, but where are they? They're in the uh, freezer in the garage, or as they call it in England. The garage. Yep, exactly. Uh, I don't want to go out there. Well, too bad, so sad. I I've got another fifteen minutes to go on my show at least. Eh. Good things coming to those who wait. I'll just, I'll just get it now. Go get it now. Don't be scared. God hates a coward. All right. Do you have the dead stuff in there? Yeah, we'll sweep it out then. No. Don't be lazy. I love my daughter, but she's like daddy. She's lazy. Thank you. I love, ah, oh, shucks. All right, folks. My apologies for the slight uh, delays there, but, you know, my daughter is very important, family above all. Okay, we have a couple real pets of the day on Beer and Song of the Day. Now, my dear friend, Michelle Nix, I love this girl, not in the way that my buddy Mike Nix loves her. Come on now, I, I don't go that like that. My good friend, Michelle Nix, living in Washington State, or as I call it, Northern Oregon, she's originally from Wisconsin. That's right, Southern Kennedy. Michelle Nix, I met you in exotic Germany back in 2006. Michelle, an absolute sweetheart, a great, great mommy, a great friend, a great wife, according to my buddy Mike. And uh, Michelle is the first winner of Fan of the Week on Bear Song of the Day, a long time ago, over two years ago. Michelle Nix, my dear, you had a... Um, a request to feature your beautiful German Shepherds on Beer and Song of the Day. And you know me, my dear, I deliver. Hell yeah! So without further ado, our first real pet of the day, Diesel Nix. Diesel! Badass German Shepherd. Look at that guy. Yeah, ain't that beautiful? Boy, oh boy. I'll tell you, I'm man's best friend's best friend. That's right. Love our doggies. Love our four-legged friends. Even if they shit on the living room carpet all the time. So yeah, Diesel Nix. Ah! Awesome stuff. You know, I, oh, I nearly shut the door on Patrick's face. Oh. I managed to get one. Yep. Of uh, without, without being bitten to death by one of those giant spiders we saw. Well, thank God for that. So now put it in the microwave on a plate. I know. And two and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool? Cool. How cool was that? Wicked cool. There you go. Just make sure we don't see one of those giant spiders. Now, how cool is this? That's uh, my good friend Michelle Nix's other German Shepherd, Izzy! Izzy Nix! Isn't that a cute little four-legged creature? Izzy Nix, looking out the window, probably looking for love. Who yep. knows? <laughs> Izzy Nix and Diesel Nix, two gorgeous German Shepherds. German Shepherds, definitely loyal dogs. I know cops use them a lot as police dogs because they are so loyal and they're so well-disciplined. They're very smart. Smarter than most people. Smarter than most Americans. We know that. Yep. And then, hey, I always say be fruitful and multiply. And look at that. They sure enough did. Yeah. Be fruitful and multiply. That's seven German Shepherd puppies. Yep, 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 So there you go. A little bonus picture. Why? Because it's my show and I do what I want. Okay. Uh, Michelle, you sent a couple additional pictures. I love these. You've got... Um, Diesel and Izzy together, brothers hanging out, because teamwork makes the dream work. If I'm wrong, if one of them is a Famali instead of a, a, a Malal, a uh, Mali, Famali, that's uh, Mexicanese for female, ha! in my world. So yeah, you got Diesel and Izzy together, ah, togetherness for two. Oh, shucks, because it takes two, baby. It takes two, me and you. It's rare for them to get pictures together. Michelle was telling me that. And look at that. They're paying attention. They get their ears up. Yep. Erectimus, ear miss. Sure, why not? 
probably not a word, but I don't give a shit. It's my show, and I do what I want. So, you know what? Screw it. Let's drink. I think this show's going to go about 50 minutes today. Yikes. Folks, I got good news. We It's time for Babe and Hunk of the Day on Beer and Song of the Day. Fig and A. Today's theme, I decided I wanted to feature brothers that I know the ladies and the men that love the men are going to love. They're phenomenal actors. Even though I have no use for new kids on the block, it's the worst thing to ever come out of my state. My wife loves them. My wife loves new kids on the block. They give her erectimus nipples. They really do. I don't know why. But she's got a hard on for them. Not that kind of hard on. Trust me. She don't have that. I know. I know my wife well. All right. Enough of that. I get it. I understand. TMI. I get it. But hey, without further ado, I bring to you Donnie Wahlberg. Donnie Wahlberg, phenomenal actor. I really think him and his brother Mike are fantastic actors. Donnie Wahlberg, 46 years old now. Donnie Wahlberg, I never liked New Kids on the Block, but I gotta admit, I would take them over Justine Beaver any day of the week and twice on Sunday. I would, no doubt about it. Hey, a lot of cool celebrity birthdays on this day, uh, July 14th in the year of our Lord, whenever. Case in point, Tamika Cottle. She is, is one of the singers in the modern R&B band Escape. She's 40 years old today. Milestone birthday. Hey, I know people that turn 40 today. How cool is that? Wicked cool. Conor McGregor. I love this guy. Conor McGregor out of Ireland. Phenomenal UFC fighter. I watched this fight on Saturday. He whooped the ever-living shit out of um, Douche Nozzle. I can only remember the guy's name. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Conor McGregor is a true bar brawler. And uh, he's 27 years old today, right in his prime. And, you know, how cool it is to get paid to beat the shit out of people. I think that's awesome. And you get rid of pent-up frustration while you're at it. Conor McGregor, that is one rough dude right there. Irish badass. Um, Gerald Ford, 38th president of the United States. Never elected. You know, he uh, took over as vice president after Spiro Agnew resigned. Then he took over for pres as president after Richard Nixon resigned. Never elected. Gerald Ford, 38th president of the United States, born in this day, 1913. Lived to be 93 years old. Uh, longest lived president in history. Just passed Ronald Reagan. 93 years old. Passed, passed away in 2004. I mean, 2006, rather. Jeez. Wow. What's up with that there, Donnie? Do you have a receding hairline or not? Did you buy hair? I don't know. I don't know if he had a receding hairline or not. I don't know if he wears a toupee. I don't know if he had implants. I don't give a shit. I really don't. But hey, he's happy. And he's making more money than I do, so he's doing something right. Um, <coughs> Martha Coakley, lawyer, bullshit artist. A lawyer, <laughs> all right, I'll admit it. A lawyer, a lot of times, are known as a professional bullshit artist. And they are. They'll do whatever it takes to win so that they get paid. And Martha Coakley... Yeah, she definitely does that. She's a politician. She's a bullshit artist. But she's 62 years old today. <laughs> she looks more like 72. She does. Ugh. Not a fan, but I got to give her credit where credit's due. Happy anniversary of coming out of the womb, Martha. Hey, how about Woody Guthrie? Phenomenal uh, folk singer. Folks, when it comes to folk music, there's three what we consider pioneers of folk music. You've got Lead Belly, Huddy Lead Better known as Lead Belly. You've got Woody Guthrie, and you got Pete Seeger. Wo uh, Woody Guthrie, born in 1912, passed away in 1967. A legend indeed. Tommy Mottola. Tommy Mottola, um, record CEO. And this guy, despite the fact that he's 66 years old today, him and his old balls were pounding Mar Mariah Carey for years. Yeah, he was born in 1949. She was born in 1969, 1970. I've, I've seen sources of both. So yeah, she liked his old balls, I guess. Oh, that's because he's got money. Maybe if I get... Never mind. I'm already married to the best woman in the world. I don't need none of that shit. I'm the richest man in the world because I'm married to freaking royalty. You don't like that? You can eat a bag of tally whackers. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. On this day in 1910, he passed away in 2001 at the age of 90. Bill Hanna. 
You familiar with those Hanna Barbera cartoons? I know I am. I grew up loving them. Hanna Barbera, phenomenal. Bill Hanna, born in 1910, passed away in 2001 at the age of 90. He would be 105 years old today. Uh, Polly Bergen, actress. Polly Bergen, born in 1930. She passed away in 2014 at the age of, I believe, 73. Maybe it was 74. Um, Jamie Johnson. Yeah, her country music mus musician. Jamie Johnson, 40 years old today. Big milestone birthday to him. And finally, NFL football player Rolando McClain, 26 years old today. Awesome stuff. As we continue to hang out with Donnie Wahlberg, phenomenal actor. And a very successful musician with new kids on the block. Yeah, remember those days? <laughs> yeah, I had no use for new kids on the block. I didn't. I couldn't stand them. But I'm not into boy bands. But hey, just because what I don't like doesn't mean it ain't cool. Because if you like it, so be it. We all have differences. Thank God we had the freedom to think differently. Otherwise, why not live in North Korea where everybody's required to think the same? And I think that sucks ass. I do. So Donnie Wahlberg, there you go. Your hunk of the day on Beer and Song of the Day. And look at that. He's plowing Jenny McCarthy. What a lucky bastard. He got married to her last year. <laughs> Jenny McCarthy. Ah, oh, there he goes. We represent the Boston Celtics. Best damn basketball team in history. I know we got 17 championships. More than any other NBA basketball team ever. All right. It's time for our first baby of the day. 41 minutes. Good Lord. So, we're going to feature a pair of sisters. Yes, we are. And, oh, they are finer than a new set of snow tires. And, folks, bear with me. If you got, if you're a young person or if you got sensitive eyes, don't look. Because, see, I don't believe in censorship, all right? I claim to be a more of a moderate conservative, but I'm very liberal when it comes to censorship. I don't believe in it. I really don't. I'm like the late, great George Carlin. I tell it like it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring out a song. And this one's going to take us back all the way to January 28, 1921. Yup. The song called Home Again Blues. <coughs> ah. Home Again Blues by the original Dixieland Jazz Band. This song is 94 years old. And this is some early pioneer jazz at its finest. As we bring up, listen to that. How cool is that? When's the last time you heard music like that? Maybe when you were in New Orleans hanging out. Who knows? There you go. Monica Downright. Jennifer Ackerman. That's A-K-E-R-M-A-N. Your baby today on Bear Sunday, thing and A. And uh, she's hot, real hot, damn hot, weird hot, and she's making hot. Hot damn. No bra, no problem. Yowza. Oh, clavage. French for cleavage. Hot diggity dog damn. She's so cute, she'll make a uh, straight woman go lesbian. Or at least bisexual. Or she'll make an impotent man rise to the occasion if you catch my drift. Or she'll make a gay man go at least bisexual. Maybe even straight. She's beautiful. Jennifer Ackerman, Jenny Ackerman. Good God. Minor nerp right there. Aw, cute. Hey, I got my preferences too, okay? Believe me, if I was a woman, I'd be a lesbian. Because I think all men are ugly, disgusting, repulsive. I get, I have no excitement towards balls, muscles, and hair. Ugh. Gag me with a wooden cooking spoon. Thank God my wife does not share the same opinion that I do. Otherwise, she would not be with me. How's that? 94-year-old music on Beer and Song of the Day. Original recording. Home Again Blues. The original Dixieland Jazz Band. Of course, you got, uh... That's right. I forgot his name. Nick LaRocca. Nick LaRocca's cornet. Sounds very much like a trumpet. Very similar. Oh, lingerie. Beautiful matching bra and panty set. Which I'm all about that stuff. Yes, I am. Ain't she a cutie? Oh, 
too late to raise your Lee. You are very pretty, Jenny Ackerman. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, your baby of the day, Baron Song of the Day, Jennifer Ackerman, Jenny Ackerman, her and the nice buns, hon. Yeah. Don't worry, she's got ponties on there. Not the best assets in the world, but not bad either. Hey, I wouldn't kick her out of bed for eating crackers. If I was single, of course. But I'm a loyal love doctor. Am I? Oh, look out! We got bare boobies. You'll see that in Europe all the time. I know I've seen it. Ah, oh, lucky ape. Creep ape. Lucky gorilla. So yeah, oops. Oh, shoot. I just realized something. Jenny Ackerman, that's the last picture right there. Hey, free nerps. Yay! All right, time to bring out our other hunk of the day. And although Donnie Wahlberg's very talented, I got to admit, I do prefer his younger brother, Mike. Mark Wahlberg. Marky Mark and the fucked up bunch. That's why I always like to call him. Sorry for the F-bomb, but, you know, hey, like I said, I don't believe in censorship. You know what you're getting into when you listen to Baron's Song of the Day. Even though I got viewers from the age of 10 all the way to the age of 80, foul. They know what? I bring it real, folks. I do. I don't sugarcoat nothing. Well, further ado, I bring to you your other hunk of the day on Baron's Song of the Day, Mark Wahlberg of Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Mark Wahlberg, I love this guy. I prefer him over Donnie myself personally. A fantastic actor. And, of course, we're going to go see Ted 2 this weekend. I'm excited. And, of course, Mark Wahlberg's in that movie. He was in the original Ted uh, Freaking incredible movie. Hey, a lot of cool things happen on this day, July 14th, in the year of our Lord, whenever. Case in point. Um, Neptune completes its first orbit of the sun since the planet was discovered in 1846. Yeah, it circles around the sun once every 165 years. Earth, on the other hand, every 365 and a quarter days. Now you know. Uh, they also in 2011, in Borneo, a previously extinct rainbow toad is rediscovered by scientists. The sighting is the first since its extinction was declared in 1925. Wow! That was huge. I remember the day it happened. Uh, say in 1987, Greyhound Bus buys Trailways Bus for $80 million. Yepers! I was in 1985, 30 years ago today. I remember this football league. It wasn't hugely successful, but it did last a few seasons. The United States Football League, the last USFL game, the Baltimore Stars defeated the Oakland Invaders 28-25. to Sounds like a good game. I was in 1973. The Phil Everly storms off stage, declaring an end to the Everly brothers. Phil and Don Everly, phenomenal duo, brothers, um, after that day, they hardly ever talked. They, they they just pretty much hated each other. And then sadly, Phil Everly passed away. Don Everly's still with us, the the older brother. But yeah, that was sad because that was a pretty damn good duo. Not my one of my favorites, but they were very talented. The Everly brothers. Can't Buy Me Love. No, not Can't Buy Me Love. I'm sorry. They, they sang um, Bye Bye Love. <laughs> yeah. Bye Bye Love, famous song. Kathy's Clown, they sang in 1960. A lot of good songs. Oh, there it is. There's the man, Mike Wahlberg with Ted. Yeah, I'm going to watch him this weekend. It's going to be freaking epic. It's going to be awesome. No, my daughter is not going. Ozzy 1972, played umpire. And the catcher in a game of brothers. Bill Haller is the umpire. His brother Tom is the Detroit Tigers catcher. Well, obviously... Uh, Bill being a good ump, he didn't. He played no biases. The Kansas City Royals beat the Detroit Tigers one nothing. On say 1955, it was a wicked hot day. 117 degrees Fahrenheit, 47 Celsius for my metric friends in uh, Collegeville, Indiana. That's a state record. Look at them guns, huh? I got noodles for arms. I got cheated. Also on this day, 1955, 118 degrees Fahrenheit, 48 Celsius. Warsaw and Union, Missouri, or as they, they like to call it up there, Missouri. That's a state record. I'll say 1951, first color telecast of a sporting event. It was a CBS, it was CBS television, it was a horse race, 
as Citation became the first horse to win a million dollars in races. Wow. Honestly, 1940, 75 years ago today. Due to beanball wars, you know, throwing a ball at each other, Spalding advertises a batting helmet with ear flaps. Good job, because that's used heavily to this day. Honestly, 1936, another hot day. 116 Fahrenheit, 47 Celsius, Collegeville, Indiana. That's a state record. Didn't I already read that? Yeah, because the other one in 1954 was 117 Celsius, East St. Louis, Illinois. East St. Louis, Illinois, trust me, don't go there. Not the friendliest place in the world. But it was hot that day. Oh, there he is, Mikey Mike. Showing his mantis. You know what's funny? He reminds me of, of Justine Beaver back in the day. He really does. So maybe there's hope for Justine Beaver at all. After all. Because see, if he turns around in his douchery and becomes cool like Mike Wahlberg, there's hope for him. Yeah. Donnie Wahlberg was a douche back in the day. He's turned out pretty damn good. Mike Wahlberg definitely turned out phenomenal. Both both of the Wahlbergs have turned out great. Look at that, ladies, and you men that love the man. He's got moobs. Yep, male boobies. And a six-pack. My six-pack is the belly that I'm proud to own as I drink good quality adult beverages. Mm. Yep. Young Mikey Mike. So, yeah. Um, that was a state record for Illinois. Honestly, in 1934, Five. 116 degrees Fahrenheit, 47 Celsius, Oro Grande, New Mexico, otherwise known as Eastern Arizona. That's a state record that lasted until my birthday, my 21st birthday, June 27th, 1995. Wow. And then that record went down. Honestly, 1927, first commercial airplane flight in Hawaii. Cool. Honestly, 1916. 33.6 centimeters of rainfall, pretty much 14 inches of rain. Effingham, South Carolina, state record as he plays with his tally record because he can. Cool. Ugh. I feel gay just holding the um, iPod like that. Mm. Ah, But hey, it's all about you, the fan, folks. You know, just saying, I'm here for you. Honestly, 1914, first patent for liquid fuel rocket design granted, granted to Dr. Robert um, Goddard. Also, Honestly, 1914, National League's Boston Braves start a climb from last place to a World Series sweep. Yep, worst to first from today until they had the World Series. Wow. That was the only World Series the Boston Braves ever won. Then they moved to Milwaukee and won a World Series in 1957. Then they moved to uh, Atlanta and won a World Series, I believe, in 1995. You know what? Maybe if the Atlanta Braves move to another city, maybe they'll win another World Series. Just saying. Honestly, 1911. 46 inches of rain begin to fall in Baguio, Philippines. Basically, they got almost four feet of rain in one sitting. Honestly, in 1891. John T. Smith patents the cork board. Thank God for that. We can appreciate our diet boards. Lung Slayer. Yeah. Austin, 1868, Alvin J. Fellows patents the tape measure. Yeah, 150 years ago today, in 1865, Wimper, W-H-Y-M-P-E-R, I wouldn't want to, oh, that's the last name, Wimper, Hudson, Cross, Douglas, and Haddo, the first to climb the famous Matterhorn. Austin, 1865, gold is discovered in um, Helena, Montana. I always thought it was pronounced Helena, but it's actually Helena. So it is what it is. Honestly, in 1853, first U.S. World's Fair opens. Crystal Palace, New York. Honestly, in 1850, first public de demonstration of ice made by refrigeration. Honestly, in 1798, first direct federal tax on state. It was on dwellings, land, and I ain't making this shit up. Slaves. Wow. <laughs> Slavery. We know that's just stupid. Also on this day in 1798, the Sedition Act prohibits false, scandalous, and malicious writing against the U.S. government. Ha! Yeah, shows how well that Sedition Act works because people are always hammering the government every day nowadays. On this day in 1789, Bastille Day, French Revolution begins with the fall of Bastille. And finally on this day in 1771, Mission San Antonio de Padua 
Found it in California, the land of fruits and nuts, otherwise in northern Mexico or western Nevada. So there you go. Let's finish strong, baby. That's all your stuff on this day in history. Let's bring out the original ham bone from January 18th, 1952. 52, as we bring out today's final baby of the day. She's a stepsister of Jennifer Ackerman. Ham bone! Malin! Malin Ackerman. M-A-L-I-N. Is it Malin or Malin? Malin Ackerman, I believe. The original ham bone, folks. Hell yeah! Oh, plumber's butt. Look out, kids! Free boobies! Yeah! The Ackermans aren't afraid to... Hey, if you guys want it, I'll drink to that. What a unique song. Red Saunders. Alvin Red Saunders. Red. January 18, 1952. Unique song. I love it. The original version of Handbone, folks. Malin Ackerman. She's hot, real hot, damn hot. I'm gonna get hot and smoking hot and make me want to blow my horn. Electrifying, baby. I love it. She's pretty. My wife ain't in the kitchen yet, but she will be later cooking lasagna. Can't wait. Yeah, baby. Malin Ackerman, 37 years old. She's 37 and a gift sent from heaven. Ah, beautiful bra, orange, yeah. Every dog uses power, always call for his hand bone. When he gets his hand bone, just wouldn't last hand bone. Dang. Higgins. Al Bundy would like that. You know, married with children. She's pretty. She really is. Class, dignity, and grace. Malin Ackerman. Well, that's not always classy. Hey, it was a hot day. She was airing out, okay? Give me a break. I love that picture. So cute, innocent, and gorgeous. Hambone! Hambone indeed! Yeah! Love it. I love that picture, too. Bang! Bang! Yeah, baby. That's what I'm saying. Hey, she likes tennis. I like tennis, too. <laughs> yep, just saying. Wow, I think this will be an hour-long show today. This is ridiculous. I'm hoping tomorrow I can keep the show under 30 minutes. We'll see. It all depends on how many birthday shout-outs I have. This week, I know I'm wicked busy with a lot of birthday shout-outs. Hey, I care about my friends, and I got a lot of friends out there that look forward to their birthday greeting every year. Some people don't have time to watch every day. So, you know, they watch like once a year on their birthday or every time. Oh, my goodness. Sorry about lack of warning. Hey, skin is skin, okay? Some people have bigger skin. Some people have darker skin. Does it matter? No. It's all about what's in here, baby, not what's out there. Although I'm not complaining about that either. Just saying. So, yeah, Malin Ackerman, a beautiful baby today on Baron Sung today. Vegan A. Must have been a cold day right there. She's suffering from erectimus nippleus. You know what? We're all done there. Let's slam it home, baby. Yep. Empty as the brain cells of an average New York Jets fan. Folks, you know what time it is, right? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. Folks, time to make a fetus to head out so everybody take care of a wicked, awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink a dry my spirit drink. I might kill yourself or somebody else and drinking and driving is dumb to being a Yanks fan and what's dumb than that is being a fan of Justine. Gee, I should have been swallowed because I'm a waste of life. Yeah, you are. Beaver. <sighs> but what's dumb than that, though, is men side with women, or animal abuse, or racism, or people watching bets, or fake friends, 
or anybody that supports, defends, or is a member of the Westboro Baptist Church. Things like that are just plain stupid and definitely deserve a big, fat G-F-Y. Folks, I'm out of here. I'll see you all tomorrow with hopefully a show that's half the length of this one because I just went over the hour mark. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.